You know, when I was coming into work, when we all were in the wee hours yeah. this morning, I saw the plows on the highway salting down the roads because of what's coming after the snow, right, Megan? Yeah, because this stuff's not really going to melt. And if it melts, as you know, it can do sometimes when they have the salt out there, it melts a little bit. And then if it's not resalted, that can freeze and become right. an even bigger issue mm -hmm. tomorrow morning. But uh, at this point, we know the cold is coming. Hopefully, they can stay ahead of it. You know as well. Give yourself a little extra time tomorrow morning, too, uh, for walking, for any kind of travel that you plan on doing kids out to the bus stop all that just expect it to be slick tomorrow because temperatures are about to take a nosedive looking at over uh, daily plaza it is actually a pretty scene but not uh, once you walk outside larry laseco and valpo reporting 1.5 inches of snow paul barrett and Salmonock reporting two and a half and mark lucas and homer glenn coming in also with one and a half inches now what we've got out there right now is quite a bit of heavier snow look for the purple colors that are down south of the kankakee river That's that's the most intensity and that's working out in a way at this point just have a little breaks in the action still still pretty snow covered across this radar picture i'm expecting to see a general two to four by the time this is all said and done i think the ride along the rim of the lake those numbers are going to get a little higher possibly especially out here valpo and laporte where you'll get especially uh, active and continual lake enhancement this is another problem look at the wind gust mugo odigwe was talking about this out by the lakefront the fact that we have uh, winds gusting into the 30s out there today has created some issues. Lakeshore flood warnings all along the southern rim of the lake from Berrien County all the way through to Cook County. We've got an advisory here up in Lake County. Why? Because those waves are going to get really big. Stay that way through the day, uh, at least into tomorrow. Look at this. We're looking for some 12 to 15 foot waves out in the center of the lake here down south. So that means that's going to progress uh, down to the southern rim of the lake at least a little bit. We'll have some big waves out there rest of the day today and into the overnight. Temperatures take a tumble on all those really intense winds too. We're going to be at about 10 degrees for the wind chill at 5 o'clock tonight. That's as good as it gets. From there, we take a nosedive getting down to about minus 5 and then kind of settling in in the single digits for the rest of the day tomorrow. It's going to be so cold. This is the wind chill I expect for you tomorrow morning at about 7. Zero at O'Hare, minus three Aurora, minus four McHenry and Waukegan. Probably feeling like negative one for Kankakee, Morris and Ottawa. A really cold start out there. Just a hint better over here in northwest Indiana. You'll have a little more cloud cover based on the fact that that lake effect will still probably be going at that point for you. Today's high uh, afternoon temperature, really, because we technically hit the high in the early morning hours. It'll be about 28. We got 22 degrees for your Tuesday. Wednesday is going to be 30, so getting a little bit warmer by Wednesday. The coldest day will be tomorrow, but uh, it does look like we'll have a chance of a few snow showers in the forecast again on Wednesday. Finally climbing back up to the 40s by Friday, Saturday and Sunday. That's a pretty good chunk of time where we'll at least get a chance to defrost. 40s is still not average for this time right. of the year, but it's much better than what we'll have today sure and tomorrow. Is. It's all so relative. It's all relative. Thanks, yep. We'll take it. Yeah.